It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. How you doing, I'm Tony. Welcome aboard the Rambles. In today's video, we're going to take a look at this Atlas O Premier Box Car. This is their special 2021 Christmas edition. Let's see if it's worth the nearly $100 price tag. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss it. Okay, so here we get our first look at the Atlas O Premier 40 foot Pullman style one boxcars. This was tooling acquired from MTH uh, by Atlas. And these are the holiday liveries, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Halloween. Christmas and Halloween are both lighted. Next, we're gonna take a look at the box this thing came in. So if you're familiar with Atlas, you might notice that the artwork is completely different for this premier rolling stock. That's because this was purchased from MTH. My understanding is that it's made in MTH factories. And if you're familiar with MTH's products and have opened them before, a lot of the features here will be familiar. Hmm, no tape. Well, I guess it's a good thing I got this trusty, rusty blade. Sheesh. It looks like I did need that razor after all. Later on in this video, you'll see how Atlas has we'll say adapted the tooling from MTH to suit Atlas's needs. These coupler coverings are exactly the same as what you would get with an MTH product. So let's take a look at what comes in the box. As you can see, not much. I did not find a manual. It was just the limited warranty information. And that's about it, aside from the, the piece of rolling stock itself. Underneath the box car, you'll see that it's got really nice detailing, but also a number of screws to keep everything together. And there's a roller, of course, to pick up electricity to power the lights. While we're down here, let's oil the wheels and the roller. It's important to keep your rolling stock and locomotives happy with plenty of oil. These wheels spin for days. Did you ever do that thing with a new pair of roller skates where you would just spin them and see how long they kept going and going? It's kind of like that. Okay, let's take a look at how the coupler functions. As you can see, there's a tab to push back to open the coupler, or you can open the coupler by pulling this tab down. On your layout, this would be done by an electromagnet embedded in a piece of track. So this is what I was talking about earlier. Take a look at how Atlas fixed MTH's insignia on the bottom of the trucks. They literally painted their name over the embossed logo of MTH. I've never seen anything quite like this, but I think it's hysterical. Now, of course, there's a switch. If you'd like to run without lights, you can turn the switch off. If you'd like the lights to be illuminated, leave the switch on. Okay, now let's take a look at the artwork on the side. I personally think this is great. I think it's a really cool design. Now, I've heard in the hobby shops that maybe this isn't traditional, but I like that. I especially like the road name North Pole Leasing Company, NPLX. I think that's hilarious. It's really fun to think about Santa and the elves having their own leasing company. The doors were surprisingly difficult to open. I don't know if this was because of the paint or something with manufacturing, but you needed some force. After you get it open, you can take a look inside and you see the wires needed for the lighting on the exterior. And I've managed to get my wife's cell phone in here to take a look at some of the internal components. You can see a switch and a small circuit board with resistors and maybe one capacitor as well as some cables running to the lights. Another one of the greatest features is the separately applied details. 
This walkway on the top is very well decorated and I think a nice touch. And here we get a look at the sides. Whether it's the ladder or the uh, grab irons or even the brake hose that's hanging down from the coupler, this piece of rolling stock has a lot of detail. The brake wheel has a chain hanging down from it, as well as this platform. And there's another ladder on this side. It's just very well decorated for a piece of rolling stock to use around Christmas time. Okay, let's talk about these lights. So I kind of noticed that they were pretty large. So I got my micrometer out and I measured each light to be about four millimeters. If you convert that to scale, it's more or less the size of a zucchini, a large zucchini at that. So imagine zucchinis on the top of your box car in real life. Here is a very technical simulation of what that could look like. Oh, the lights, the lights, the lights. How much did this cost me? Ninety dollars. But it's marked down from twenty-eight hundred. The lights no longer illuminate. In the making of this video, I put the box car on my layout and turned around for one second. The next thing I know, I smelled smoke and there were literally sparks shooting off from the lights. I have no idea what happened, but Atlas assured me that if I send in this piece of rolling stock, they will be able to fix it before Christmas. As an insurance policy, I was actually able to find it for $60 from a place called Smokestack out in Ohio. Uh, you should check them out, maybe you could get one too. But as a result of this malfunction, I have to rate this Atlas O-Scale Premier rolling stock a chugga chugga out of a full chugga chugga choo choo rating system. Now, if Atlas does in fact fix this or if I figure out some other solution, I'll pin the comment down below. But until then, I have a boxcar with lights that don't light. Atlas, oh no. My boxcar is now bound for the island of misfit trains. Well, at least it was marked down from $99.95. That all being said, I didn't get this boxcar and I'm not reviewing it because I particularly like the boxcar. This means so much more to me than just that. This box car represents tradition and it represents my family growing. This year we had the birth of uh, my son and this box car is in honor of him. And perhaps when he's older and moves on, he'll have his own box car to put underneath his tree, just like his parents have their own to put under their tree. So the lights may have gone out, but we carry on. And that's tradition. And that's what this boxcar represents to me and my family. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> what a ride well uh if you enjoyed that do yourself a favor and subscribe we got so much more coming down the road here check out this clip from a song i had commissioned Also, I got a website, therambles.us. Uh, you can find my email there. Uh, there's not much on it yet, but I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep updating it. Uh, thank you for watching, and try to stay on the right track.